Hello, everyone. This here is Jeffus. We are officially the 3rd of June, 2019, at 21.20 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm proud to say I have finished this second game of my journey, The Legend of Dragoon. After the credits rolling, as to what I've done in the game, I have actually completed the Ice Castle alternative boss, the one where you fight to get the sword that drains your life, but gives a huge amount of attack to Dart. They have done the Fort Dragoon of the Pass, that were hidden in the castle as asked by the White Silver Dragoon of the Pass. So that is also done, though didn't give all that much. We have not done the Stardust, because to be honest, this is just a hidden a collectible all over the world. I have collected 16 of them, if I'm not wrong, that I found randomly by mashing X. But finding all 50 of them, it's not really worth it in my opinion, and I would have just watched the guide anyway. I did look at it, actually what it did... Well, I've, I didn't even look at it, to be honest. I just... I just figured it out, to be honest, when the, the game just showed it to me. Would have cured. This little girl, but well, whatever. We also have not maxed all in every addition, to be honest. This is a completionist bonus, not a finishist. The point of this game was just to let the credits roll. We've done a little bit of a side mission here and there, but we're not really that necessary. As for the game, what do I think about it? To be honest, Really happy to have done it, finally, after I don't even know how many years, don't even know when this was released. Do we have a release date in here? Do we have a release date? Oh, I don't think I do. No, there should be any, there should be copyright somewhere. Copyright, copyright, but no years. The Dragoon trademark. Shit, no year, whatever. Doesn't even matter, I wasted way more time than I needed to actually play this game at least once. This was my first playthrough, and the graphics of the game, still very good. They didn't age all that much, to be honest. It helps also that it used a fixed camera and a drum background to actually move around, but still a really pretty game. The story somehow makes sense. To be honest, I was really scared starting this too. Uh, I was thinking that we were about to go like to the past and uh, time traveling and make shitload of stuff that wouldn't have worked whatsoever. But eventually, by the end of this tree, every huge plot hole that I was like, "There's no way they can explain that," they fucking explained it masterfully like, in the hat as well. As for the fighting. When I'm used to stuff like Final Fantasy and turn-based action that you just smash A or even MMORPG. Also, I'm a huge Disgaea fan. I'm not really used to do action other than Super Mario RPG where you have one action coming, but the addition can go up to seven. And it really makes it engaging, to be honest. You have to keep on focusing, and even after a six hour of gameplay where I was just starting to doze off and be painful to look at the TV, Still was really rewarding to hit them. Go for the maximum amount of damage. As for the negative, if you've watched that whole 47 hour playthrough, let's stop the timer. 47 hour playthrough. I can officially say that if you are a game developer, an RPG one for that, and you put one hit KOs in your game for whatever reason, because you think this is a good idea and adds difficulty, first of all, it doesn't. And second of all, don't make it 100% chance to hit. And don't start me with the argument, well, there's an item that prevents to get one-hit KO. No, that's, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't at all. I shouldn't have to sacrifice an equipment slot just to prevent something that might or might not happen, depending if the dev decided to actually have a one-hit KO on a mob or a boss. I could, I could understand for the boss, or I could understand if they would at least charge it. There was one mob that charged his one-hit KO, so we knew when it was coming. I could prevent it by stopping his action. 
But yeah, fuck your wanted kill moves. That's all I have to say. And lastly, I know this is a, a PS1 RPG, so technically it's an old one. So I would say that there were cliches yeah, left and right, like I called the flower to help the uncurable poison. Um, I didn't really call whose mother and whose father was whose, and everyone was interlinked somehow, but some stuff we could see from really far away. And uh, we're already done with the credit. Shit, we need to wrap this up. Well, fine then. I'll wrap this up. I guess I should give this a note out of 10. I would give it, to be honest, an, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. A really solid game. I recommend it to anyone that loves RPGs. Even if I played the... Even with the little price tag, it was not even that price, it was $60 Canadian. Not that bad at all, to be honest. So yeah, this is a quick short review, as well as the simplest video that just tells that I finished The Legend of Dragon second game. We'll be ready to boot up the very next one. Oh my god, this is so perfect. This is such a perfect ending to this highlight. The end. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can come and watch me at twitch.tv slash jafus1, J-A-F-U-S-1. The link will be in the description below. And if you're watching this island on Twitch, keep on watching. And I'll see you boys and girls next time.